Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going out on wildlife walk number eight. So today we're going to be going on our normal wildlife walk route and seeing what wildlife we can find and photograph. So my first stop is this field. It's a field of horses. My camera is currently recording some geese. There's a load of geese in here, mainly Canada geese, but there's also some grey lag geese and a few Egyptian geese. So I'll see if I can get a clip of each of them. But currently they're just in the field eating. And I think I just spotted a pheasant further back, so I'll see if I can get that on video as well. And we are now on a golf course, so I have a few lakes behind me. Now we've been here before and found a heron here, and today there is a heron here, so it seems to be a resident heron. Anyway, there's a few swans behind me, you can see, just in the background here. So I'm currently filming the heron, and he's done a bit of flying. I set the tripod up on him, and then pretty much instantly he flew away, but now he's just sitting at the edge of the pond. And we have left the golf course, we're now back onto the canal. But while I was walking off of the golf course, I spotted a few things. There was a red kite circling, so I took some photos of the red kite. They're not amazing photos because he was against the white clouds of the sky, so he's quite dark. But they're still photos, so you can see. And then on one of the lakes on the golf course, there was a cormorant. Now these are typically known as a seabird, but we get them inland here on our golf courses as well. So here is the video of the cormorant. Now we've been walking for quite a while now, haven't found anything yet. We are still on the canal, but the sun has come out. Hopefully that will bring out the wildlife as well, because it's been pretty chilly this morning. You can see behind me the autumn colours are starting to come out. We've got some nice yellows and oranges there. Um, again, still mainly green trees. I think it might be about a week and then it will be really good. So next week when I go out on this wildlife walk, hopefully we'll have some beautiful oranges and reds on the trees. And we are now in the most wild part of the walk. So far I've seen a crow. I've taken some photos of the crow who was foraging in the field, but there is a kestrel up on this tree behind me. So the camera is set up. It is filming the kestrel. He's too far away for a photograph. It wouldn't be a good quality photograph, so I'm filming him. And um, then we can crop in on the video and see the beautiful kestrel. I think it's a female kestrel. Um, not 100% sure, but I'm, I think it's a female from what I can see. 
on the screen but the kestrel is sitting looking for food and so maybe we'll get it fly down and hunt who knows And the kestrel is still sitting on the tree. She's not going anywhere. She's been there for ages now. But I've turned the camera up to this pole here because there are cormorants up perched on it. So you can see in this video that there's cormorants perched on the top of this telephone pylon. And this is surprising because cormorants are cliff birds. You wouldn't expect them to be able to sit on the telephone wires that easily. But here they are making the most of our man-made structures. And we are now on the farm. So we left the canal and I saw a deer while I was leaving the canal. It was at the back of a field walking away. So it wasn't an amazing photo, but again, I saw the deer. Here are the photos that I got. And then while I was walking to the farm just a few minutes ago, I got some photos of some thrushes. I believe they're missile thrushes and they're sitting on top of the bushes. Now, obviously these are going to be eating all of the berries at this time of year that the bushes are offering them. Now, if you've watched my other wildlife walk, she'll know that there were plants in here. And I always talk about how when there were cows in here, there was much more life on the farm with the droppings and all the insects. There was a lot more bird life on the farm and the plants kind of got rid of the wildlife because it was just a monoculture. Well, I'm glad to tell you that the cows are back. They're behind me in this field. You might not be able to see them yet, but we'll get closer and I'll show you that the cows have returned to the farm. So hopefully there'll be a lot more wildlife here. And I've been here about five minutes and I've already got loads of photos. There's a ton of pied wagtails down on the ground, running around in between the cows, getting some food. And then obviously there's the cows to take photos of. And there's a red kite, which was circling just a minute ago. He's gone out of sight for the moment, but who knows, it might be back. And sadly, we've come to the end of the wildlife walk. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when wildlife walk number nine is coming out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.